Hey, sometimes you just gotta let the beat ride before you hit them with a Jam Stars! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BKA the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video. I already know, I see you. I know you're a Jim Star. I know you can't wait to get it in in there. I know you do. I know you wanna know where I got the Donkey Strong shirt from. Link down in the description. I made it myself. Breeze T's the best athletic apparel it's gonna be. We got a Jim Star shirt coming up. All that good stuff, man. So if you're trying to get down with the squad, give me a gym star down in the comment, like G-Y-M-S-T-A-R. And let's just get right into it, man. 2K news for the day, 2K daily. If you want to be a part of the show, you can be a part of the show. Send me your gym star moment on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Send me L's of the day on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Do all that good stuff, man. Let's just get the, let's get the movement going to get the 2K daily movement popping. Look, story of the day, man. People are really wanting people to get banned. They want the band hammer to come down. The band hammer is coming down. We don't know when it's going to be here. We don't even know how many people are. If, if, if it were me, I'm willing to bet that not a single person that glitched is going to get banned. I'm willing to bet that the only people that are gonna get banned is people that took advantage of VC glitches and, and knowingly promoted those VC glitches. I think those are the people that are gonna get banned because if you think about it, if people glitch badges, the only thing that's going to do is benefit 2K, right? Nobody, like, why, why would they be mad? If somebody could glitch their badge and they had to make a new player in order to do it, that's going to be more money for 2K. Why are they going to ban somebody when they made more money off that person? They, they have a way to make an infinite amount of money off of these people. They're not going to ban those guys. What they're going to do is ban people that are taking advantage of VC glitches and finding VC glitches, promoting those glitches, and doing all that good stuff. That's how I feel about it, man. But I just don't understand, like, why would I want another person to get banned? I don't care if somebody did the glitch. Because when I play somebody, I don't run from competition. I don't run from playing somebody. When I play a game, if I go to the basketball court, if I play 2K, if I go play football, I expect you to be in your best condition, and I'm going to treat you like so. If you are worse than me, I'm gonna kill you. If you put a Gatorade on the court and he's trying to guard me, I'm gonna kill the Gatorade. It doesn't matter what condition you show up in, I'm assuming that you are at the, your A game and that you're competing at the top. It should be the same thing with 2K. I play everybody with the zest of if they are at 99 and if they have all their badges, I don't care. I don't look at none of that stuff. So if you're looking at that stuff, maybe you should figure out how to get better at the game and stop looking at people's overall. Stop sweating what another man is doing so much and worry about what you can do to beat him. Whether he's 99 or not, you can still beat him. 99 speed don't mean much in this game. Man, man, get out ran all the time. 99 jumpers don't mean nothing in this game. People smoke wide open shots all the time. 99 doesn't mean a whole lot in this game. But if that person is a 99 and he got some games under his belt, you best believe he bought that action. There's not gonna be a glitch 99 that's gonna be worth his salt because he's going to lose they're going to lose that, that overall. Do you know how hard it is to keep an overall? If he's 99 and he got like 120, 30, 300 games played, he is about that action. He was going to be 99 anyway, and he was going to get max badges anyway. And you were going to lose to him anyway. But at the same time, if I play a bum that is 99 overall, he's not going to beat me. And then he's not going to be 99 after that game either. It doesn't matter what badges somebody has. I'm not losing the difficult shots. I'm losing because my guy didn't pick up on the screen and allowed him to take the difficult shot. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not losing the limitless range. I'm losing to somebody not picking up and he's able to shoot the limitless range shot. You're not losing the badges. You're not losing the overall. You're losing the game because those guys are better than you or they have a better approach to the game. So let's stop all the crying. Let's stop all this stuff, man. Listen, just be better. Work harder. Shine brighter, gym star. That's our next search. You already know that. Just, just work harder than the next person, man. You'll get there. And if you're a person that actually has a life of you in school, if you're at work and you can't get your stuff done, don't worry about it. Then it's, it's not for you to beat everybody. So it ain't that serious anyway. Don't worry about this stuff, man. Do your thing. Anyway, next, 2K patching jump shots, man. Oh yeah, but but stop running, stop running from games, man. Just because somebody has got a higher overall than you, that don't mean nothing, man. Let leave this stuff alone. Play them. Play somebody better, you might get better, you'll learn something, and then you you can't get better by not doing something. So you gotta play better people in order to get better. Let's play better people, stop all the running, stop all the crying, and let's just get back into it. Look, passing jump shots. Mike Wong, can you please stop passing jump shots? They wanna say they're not passing jump shots, bro, we know that you are passing jump shots. I had Paul George, that was my base. I had the releases that sped it up. 
2K Lab is telling us that these jump shots are being actively patched and changed. The timing on them is changed. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're not passing a specific jump shot, but they definitely are changing the timing. Paul George and the releases that I had on it. Beautiful jump shot, money jump shot. I put the video out two days later. I have to have quick draw on gold in order to use that shot. I, I used to be able to use the shot on with quick draw on silver. No problem at all. As soon as I put the jump shot out, you gotta have quick draw on gold now in order to use it. So I just moved to another base. You're not gonna do me like that. Y'all ain't gonna hold me like that. I'm sorry. I understand this game way too well, but for the guys that don't, come on, man. That ain't cool, brother. You can't sit there and just change jump shots around and this guy smoking jump shots all of a sudden and now he don't understand why. It is what it is, but look, though. They say they don't do it. 2K Labs proved the contrary. Who do you guys believe? You believe Mike or do you believe 2K Lab who actually have the hard data? You believe somebody that has something to gain by lying or not telling us the truth, not being completely forthright with us? Or do you believe a third party that... that they have a, literally a modded controller. If I press this button like this today, it should be the same way tomorrow. If it's not there tomorrow, then something changed. Not necessarily that Mike changed it, but somebody changed something. We're not that simple, man. Come on, give us a little bit more credit than that. Hey, let me ask y'all something, man. Did you guys know that you can review files, files in the game, F-O-U-L-S? If somebody files you or if they say you committed a file in the game, guess what? Try this out and let me know if it works. If you see a BS file, you know how the computer always does. When they go to the, to the rim for a layup, they do the craziest animations in the world, right? Next time you play, if you think it's a BS file, immediately press press your, uh, your timeout button. Hit timeout. As soon as you hit timeout, it's going to ask you, hey, do you want to review the file or do you want to call a timeout? Review the file nine times out of ten. If it was a BS file, they're going to they're gonna return. They're going to uh, overturn it. I didn't know that that was in the game and I saw it today. I was going to edit that in. I might still edit it in. You might have just seen it. You might not have. But if you didn't, hey, it is what it is. Whatever. Continuing on to our next stuff, man. Mike Wong did say in lieu of things being changed, full whites are being looked at. He put that out uh, on the other day. We don't know if the full whites have been changed. We don't know if they're going to go in at a higher clip. We really don't know anything at this point. I was playing the game yesterday. I think I'm hitting full whites at the same clip that I have been hitting them, but at the same time, a lot of people saying that more are going in. If they're gonna let more full whites go in, I might not never miss. I might not ever miss again. I'm already shooting like, like I got several games where I shot like, like four for five from three in the wreck, eight for nine from three in the wreck, you know, six for nine stuff like that. So I'm already hitting, so it's it's not a big deal. But the full whites are being looked at. Mike is saying, um. Mike is saying that they're, they're checking it out. They're going to take the data, review the data, and then they're going to let us know uh, what they're going to do about them. Last but not least, well, not really last but not least, but uh, one more piece of information that we got today. Did y'all know that there are no more jump shot landings in the wreck and you can't fool around in the wreck like you used to? Like, like when the game came out? I thought the jump shot landings was dope in the wreck. I like hitting the green and busting a back flip on somebody, man. Like, somebody complained about it on... Twitter the other day said I go to the wreck to get away from all that nonsense. I always say it like this. If you don't like me dancing when I score my guy, maybe you shouldn't let me score. And then you won't have to worry about it. How about that? Like, if you do your job, then I don't get to dance. So, if you don't let me shoot a green, then you're not going to see it. That's the way I feel about it. You go to the wreck to get away from the nonsense, but obviously you're not that good because you're not stopping people from scoring enough to where you're not having to see that all the time. It is what it is. I understand what he's saying, though. I'm just really trolling, but I understand what he's saying. We do go to the wreck to play a more serious game, to play a game to where we don't have to deal with a whole bunch of nonsense and all that. So I, I get it, man. I just hate that they took him away. I thought it was cool, but you know, it is what it is. And last but not least, man, look, I want to talk to y'all about something. This is just the question of the day. Should 2K patch gameplay or badges? I was talking to one of my guys about this, um, talking to one of my guys about it uh, earlier, and we were saying, we were saying that uh, 2K patches gameplay so much that when they do it, it's like it breaks everything. I feel like rather than patching gameplay, they should patch badges. Case in point, the other day, and patch the right badges as well. So like right now, a lot of people are getting plucked and ripped and stuff like that. I feel like instead of instead of patching people getting plucked and ripped, 
they need to patch unpluckable and make it fire more often and then make it be a stronger badge or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? Like I, I, I don't feel like I don't feel like you should pacify people or, or what have you. Am I making sense? I, I feel like if somebody is playing the game and we've gotten used to the game and the unpluckable badge is something that's supposed to keep you from getting plucked, then maybe we should just bring, you know, make the unpluckable badge stronger instead of making everybody not being able to get plucked. I think I'm making sense when I'm saying that, but hey, it is what it is. If you don't understand what I'm saying, also like the other day they, they nerfed Brick Wall. I feel like instead of nerfing Brick Wall, they should have buffed Pick Dodger or what have you. But yo, this music is depressing, man. We gotta get out of here, man. We gotta, we gotta do something else. Cause that right there, I feel like instead of nerfing Brick Wall, they should have buffed Pick Dodger. That way, if you didn't put defense in your bill, I feel like you should be getting killed by screens. Those guys, they they worked for, for Brick Wall for a reason. They didn't work for Brick Wall for a guy that doesn't have defense in his bill to be able to avoid their screens. They worked for it so that they could hit people hard with screens. So let's reward the people that are working for the badges rather than reward people that didn't put defense in their bill. If you didn't put defense in your bill, you got one defensive badge and that one defensive badge is not picked up, you should get murdered by a screen. As soon as it's there, you shouldn't even be able to look at it. You should just be like, dang, screen. <laughs> you should be falling out. But, but somebody like me, I worked, I got my pick dodger up and I have it on. I should be able to slither around screens. It shouldn't affect me as much. That's what I'm saying. So that's the question of the day. Should we be buffing gameplay or badges? Just like, should we be buffing full whites? Or should we just be like buff flexible release? And then that way, you know, if you don't have flexible release on, then you're not going to hit many full whites. But if you have it on, then you're going to, you'll be able to hit more full whites. And if you, if you don't feel like you want to put flexible release on, then that's that's your prerogative. You just got to hit greens. And if you don't have a build that can get flexible release, you probably shouldn't be shooting anyway, my guy. So it doesn't affect you. That's how I feel about the game and in its state. I think we have so many badges that do so many things and so many badges that do absolutely nothing. I feel like what's, what we should be doing is buffing and, and nerfing, uh, you know, just moving around the stats on the badges so that you can tweak the gameplay exactly how you want to. My guy right now, super dope. I love him. I like the way that he plays. I can go to the rim. I can shoot threes. I can play awesome defense. Only thing I can't do is really handle the ball. But I'm an off guard. So, like, anybody that plays with me, I need a point guard because I'm an off guard. I don't play point guard. He's a point guard only in name. If you know anything about the game, you know exactly what I'm saying. You made a small forward this year, and you're not making it for the inches then you probably made a bad bill. I'm just being real with you. Because if you if you, if you you made him and you didn't make him so that he can play better defense and stuff like that, if you made him to be a scorer, it really ain't working like that this year. But, you know, if you, but I know, it, and I do got some small fours out there that are some dogs because they made them so that they could, they could fight centers and get rebounds and do stuff like that. But you got some guys that made small fours and made them 6'5". I, I don't see... Bro, I don't know. They made him short as weight. Short as... It is what it is, man. Nine times out of ten, you made a small forward, a power forward, or a shooting guard this year, and you didn't make it for a specific reason. You made it an error. I'm seeing even people making 6'11 centers rather than power forwards. Y'all tell me if I'm wrong, man. But anyway, like I said, let's let's do that, 2K. Let's try to do that. Let's try to tweak gameplay instead of gameplay changes. Let's buff and nerf badges, and let's get those things right, and that way... You can use the badges to supplement the way that your player wants to play. Like, I got cross-key score instead of difficult shots. So, if I run across the key and I shoot a fade, it's green now because I use cross-key score. If I if I combine that with difficult shots, yo, ooh, I'm giving away too much of the game. Anyway, man, speaking of the game, we got my boy, the gym star of the day, my boy, Jay Nail. Look, check it out, bro. This cat right here got bounce, homie. Ooh, rise, young man. Rise up. Hey, he said, his homeboy said you still laying by now. We're going to watch this song repeat for a little bit. I want my man to get his 15 minutes of fame. Hey, we, he said he wear that double X. Bro, he got to be like 6'9 or 6'6, six, 6'7. Six, six, look at it. Look at That's a real gym star right now, boy. Hey, listen. You want to be on the show? Make sure you hit me up with your, uh, with, you know, with, 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 with these on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Let's get to me to like 5,000 uh, Twitter followers and all that good stuff. And uh, let's do this right here. We don't have an L in the day, but look. Gym star today, 
is is dope for me, man. This cat right here, hey, he sold me wear a 2XL shirt. We're gonna send him one of our first gym star designs. Uh gym star design will be down that link will be in the description. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll know about all our drops, uh stuff like this, the Donkey Kong sh Donkey Strong shirt, all that. But uh, other than that, man, y'all holler at my boy Jay Nail. Hey, tell him you seen him on here. Uh, his link will be down in the description. Good stuff. I think he got a YouTube channel too, man. I don't know if he's uh, putting videos out, but we're going to check that out. Anyway, if it is, it's on his Twitter, so y'all check that out, man. Tell him Jay Easy sent you, and I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Channel. Holla, get funky, young man, and flex on him. I say flex on him. Hey, bro, I don't, I don't appreciate you getting your 50 cent on over here, though, man. Can you, you know, put a shirt on next time? Anyway, like I said, man, enjoy the video. Enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, we're going to holler at y'all next time, man. Peace.